Hey guys, what's up, Zombie here? And I'm in one of my single player worlds. Um, I think this is my raiding practice world. Yeah, it is. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make an unraidable vault. Now, my unraidable base thing, I've been playing around with a smaller hybrid can. Oh, wait, no, this is the launcher. I've had a lot of fun with different types of cannons. Um, but, uh, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to make an unraidable vault. So what you're gonna need, um, let's put about, oh, looks like my mom just got home. I'll have to pause the video at some point soon. Oh wait, no, we won't be needing those. Give me a stack of droppers. Um, I'll put the exact amount of everything in the description, and I will do it this time. I'll write it down so I remember. Um, but yeah, you're gonna need... Some cobble. Hobby. And some slabs. So I'll be right back with the actual building of it. So let's go ahead and start off. I'm trying to keep the uh oh my god. Alright, it was a bit laggy there for a second. So I'm gonna be doing this in survival. So I guess let's begin. Alright, so uh we start by placing a very small area, so it's four, five, six. Oh wait, no, that's uh, oh my god, like, all right, let's hope that stopped. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll be right back when this is finished. Alright, so this took exactly one stack of slabs, so I'm going to write that down up here right back. Alright, so now we're going to place Pacific and so we've got. Alright, so. So we have 4 by 4 area So this little platform right here will have used up uh, almost an entire stack of your uh, obsidian already. But um, I keep building. Um, Point, 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 point
break, 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 break. So we have 16 left. So let's find an extra 40 hit. Alright, so let's 112 feasts of August so far. So now we're going to go on to the top. Break, 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 so we have 28 left. So we've used 100 slimes so far. Um, Alright, so from this point on, you're like, okay, well, this is not really that secure. It doesn't have layers. There's no, you know, kind of vault is this, right? Well, this is just the start of it. So you're going to get out two or three water buckets. So then, then come up with that the top. Water. Water. And then it's the next stop. It says about like 48 frames, and then it like, it's like buffery. I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that. You see, like right now I'm at 30 something frames. Now I dropped down to 20 when I said that. But whatever. Alright, so this is definitely not it. Keep in mind, I'm, I'm doing it with multiple buckets, uh, you don't have to, but I'm doing it with uh, multiple buckets just to save time uh, on the video. If you want to use multiple buckets, you can, but if you're on a server, then uh, does it really worth paying for the buckets or the iron, or I mean, do you really want to waste the iron that you just buy on um, buckets, you know? When you could just be using like, one or two and just have the water source nearby. I will not be counting the water because water is free as long as you have a uh, water source, which is you not a whole Minecraft. It should not be too hard to obtain. Uh, get that piece right there. That is a little trick here if you didn't know. So uh, get two corners covered. And then fill the middle block, and it covers all except the one at the end. No matter the size. So now we got this thing. Right? So you're like, well, what do we do with this? I'm about to show you. Alright, so we're gonna start with the kind of. So your basic uh, instruction here <clears throat> is to um, take a little something like this around the entire uh, area, like where the slabs end is where you're going to want to place this. So go all the way up to so your top and start the tower over to it. Now that is the edge. So we're going to go one higher. Water, there is water. Water, there is water. So, uh, water, there is water. Water, 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 the uh, source blocks. Remember, if one of these aren't source blocks, then you're, you're done. Yeah, we're getting easy. As it really dries, so good second. Uh, fun fact, you guys, uh, golden carrots have the uh, best saturation in uh, the game, which means they uh, do the most hunger. Uh, stuff. Oh my god, as it dries. 
So once you play the, uh, the two high board for the uh, right sides, um, just go, yeah, just keep with the player and then go up in the second. Alright, so we're at 128 health so far. Right. As you can see here, we have a, uh, a round, uh, okay. a round our little face. Well, not face, but a vault. I'm just gonna get back to you guys when I finish my. Oh, oh yeah, so what you're gonna wanna do is really want to go to the complete the wall of the uh, cobblestone around your obsidian structure. And I think it's a little too late for this, but make sure you have a home set inside of that base and this for the mine. Which, after the next few steps, I don't think you're going to want to do. So, uh, I'll be back when this is done. Uh, just a quick little mention here. Um, I recommend this base, not this base, but this vault, uh, be built in uh, near bedrock. Um, and if you're going to claim the base, if you're going to claim the vault, make sure to claim it. Uh, not too big, but like, uh, I don't know, claim in a radius of, uh, four, you know, like you would with any small base, but so this is done. Alright, uh, uh, right. drop. Okay, so, let me add this to the list. Alright, so now we got the outer layer done. And we are not done yet. This is going to be the near final product. I'm going to just load these chunks. Alright, that's better. Oh my god, I'm going to get out of So, uh, let's take a look inside here. So, uh, sorry for that. So, so, so good. Lighting will be uh, your choice. So, uh, basically, this is gonna work. 
using chests and we're using droppers is because people with chest finder can't see it and if they're x-raying then you know whatever but nobody really x-rays the fine bases they they uh chest find so yeah but this is probably what i would do um unless i had an insane amount of it which in that case i probably would just go with the original but honestly i think the way i did it was the best way to do it um just keep everything you know, uh, torched up. And that's all I'm gonna need now. Just torched up. So that's the inside of the base, now let's go to the outside again. So here we are back at the top of the base. Now, instead of getting more buckets, it's taking up more inventory space, I just decided to get some, uh, legit water. Um, so you're going to do the same thing with this as you did the outside, to the inside, except this time we're not using any, um, uh, oh, that's, that's on. Alright, it's just water. There we go. Um, this time we're not using, um, Slabs you will notice on the top. Or wait, yes we are. All right, so um, now that that's over. Uh, so yes, there will be slabs on top of the cobblestone. I'm sorry, I forgot, but that is what we were doing. Um, we're going to be a bit unreadable um, side here. So you don't want to go down to the bottom and do the same thing as last time. Oh, patch on the shell, which takes forever. So I'll see you guys when that's done. Alright, so now we got the bottom done. So now what we're going to do the final step of the process. Um, we're going to cover the outer layer with either cobblestone 
or uh, obsidian. Now, if you want to get, you know, really rich and creative, you can put sand around it or add more walls, but this is just a very basic design. Actually, you know what? We can leave it as it is, because it's got a couple layers already. Is it? It's just that. Okay, so this is one wall. Now what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to cover the outside. Um, up completely. And honestly, I really just don't feel like doing that right now. Um, but you will want to do that. I will leave the amount of cobble it takes for this design right here. And then I recommend getting an extra uh, two or three stacks to surround this, or unless you're underground maybe, if you're underground it's a different story, then just mine around that, you know, put water there, um, maybe add some sand walls, just get creative, you know, but um, people won't find this with chest finder, if you leave it unclaimed then what's the point of having it so protected? But then they can't find it that way either, but then again, what's the point of having it so protected? Um, even this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it would be like to, uh, I forgot. Uh, now we're going to try to raid this. Um, yeah. So the supplies that it takes to make this cannon will not be in the description. Um, they will be in the video, obviously. Um, you know, you can just follow the video step by step, uh, if you really want to build a cannon like this. Oh, wait, I mean, <laughs> uh, So I'm leaving the, uh, building the cannon, I mean, I know it's a long video, it's like 22 minutes now, um, but, um, the cannon is, you know, just for those who want to make it, it's actually pretty cool, it's a compact, uh, hybrid cannon, so, I mean, I don't know, it's pretty useful. Um, basically the trick is, just, um, incorporate 10 repeaters, uh, 9 of them at full, uh, ticks, and one of them at no ticks, so, um, it's two. Make this even more compact by making it, you know, longer. I don't know, whatever. But um, where it is supposed to be? Yes, it is. All right, this one right here, the middle of the can. Water, there is water here. That's right. Oh wait, no, yeah, that works. Um, yeah, and so uh, let's forget to put the NT inside the camera. Uh oh. So, um, branching. And apparently that was not hybrid. Um, let me figure this out. Uh -oh. Alright, I could have totally uh -oh. just destroyed the cannon. Uh -oh. I really hope I did not do that. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Nope, nope, I did make it hybrid. Good. Uh -oh. 
So it's like, oh yeah, look at that. So you're already through one wall. This is why it's important to have uh, other walls uh, protection. So then they're like, okay, so now we just need to stack some sand. Which, with these cannons, it's, it's not really just stacking the sand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Unless you know what you're doing. But really, there's no. Just. Oh, okay. Well, this one, in this case, it, it's often just so different than, you know, what you would normally expect. But, um. So, I'll do a few more shots and I'll probably pause the video. And, uh, keep getting, you know, just continue trying to get in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shot. Oh, no, okay, so that landed there. Ah, well, look at that, we're already one um, above here. Um, I think this one, does this still work? I forget, did it work in the first place? I don't remember what happened last time I tried this. Uh -oh. Stacking sand, I think they just break, right? No, no, they do stack. Yep, there you go. So, it's hard to stack sand with this kind of cannon, but if you do stack sand, let me show you what it feel like. So, the compact cannon design does not stack sand very well, and um, this is because it only has a certain amount of, um, yeah, and this is stacked, by the way, um, of TNT. Uh, a very limited amount of TNT as well. And uh, the problem with that is, I mean, well, basically, um, that's how you stack it. Is uh, it gets to the point where it will shoot so high that the TNT will explode before the sand lands. But the point of the slabs that I just broke, uh, the point of the slabs is so that the sand hits it and it breaks. But that's not what's happening. So, stack up some more sand. Um, we'll go one more up. This is one more up. That. I don't know. There we go. Bam. So, by this time, I mean. You may as well be almost in by now. I mean, a couple of hybrid shots and, you know, you're good. Um, especially if the blast radius is larger. But, um, if, if I were to keep stacking the sand, like I am, um, I'd take it here. This would, uh, you know, this thing. Then it would not work great. Again, because this cannon is very limited, I do not recommend this design. But if you have very uh, limited space or you are, then you can use it. But I mean, honestly, it's it's a pretty crappy design. Um, I mean, it's just it's good because it is a hybrid cannon, it's small, but it's just not practical uh, for good raids. Like if you had a raid with like a uh, you know a base with walls and you know. All this other crap, you know, it's like, you know, don't even try it, you know, use the legit design. Alright, so now we've got a, uh, a clear pathway um, to it. So instead of, um, what it normally does is it hits the wall and uh, it stacks. Um, this is what's gonna happen. The TNT is going to go inside with the sand stacks in the middle this time. So, let's keep at this and see where it gets us. Okay, so as you can see, what just happened here is it uh, stacked over here instead, which is even better. So, let's just wait. So then, this is going to keep stacking, 
and then the hybrid shot in. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, with that. The hybrid of them. So, you know, this is all blown up. Uh, oh, no. And then you're faced with getting into the stuff, so if some servers have uh, droppers and furnaces and stuff like that, you're able to collect items from, um, if the server is not, then you're gonna have to keep cannoning, and that's gonna suck. But, uh, if not, then, you know, they just got your, uh, good loot, and, uh, they totally works for you if they found you. Um, not, well, maybe not, I don't know. But, uh... Um, here. So now the broken. Now somebody will drop some over here. And they have in the rest of your uh, stuff. And of course, they're gonna fire some scatter shots. You know, it's kind of just what you do with the raid. This scatter shot afterward to, uh, to destroy the base. So let's go ahead and see what a scatter shot. It's not going the way I planned. As you can see, that's the pain of having water on your raid. So there we go. Oh. Scatter shots are kind of hard to fire, and I would make a, a video. Uh, I still have to do the litter box if I'm putting that off a little bit now. Um, but scatter shots will be demonstrated in my next video. And I will be uploading this one as I go out to the litter box, so not to worry, this will not just become another one of those videos I record for no reason. So, uh, look forward to that coming, and if you're seeing it now, then it's probably coming in like. You know, I'm probably recording it as you're watching this video. So let's finish the raid the right way. That's some good old fashioned blowing up the base. See how rewarding it is to be able to see this one spread to the base just go up in flames. But... Thank you.
But so this is what my word in practice really is all about, I'm just uh, creating new cannons, um, different base designs and ideas, and uh, I'm going to start recording them. So, um, see you guys in the next video. Um, bye.